Hey, welcome back to Mass Appeal. So many people are intimidated by their computers, but there's a local company that's making it easy and safe to use the computer. Stan Prager is the president of Go Geeks in East Longmeadow, and he's here to tell us how we can stay safe on the computer. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me on the show. Why is it that everybody is so intimidated by their computers? Well, I think it's an important item in a lot of people's home, but they never had any training with it. Like, for instance, uh, when you got a car, you mm -hmm. probably didn't steal your first car. Exactly. Your, your dad taught you how to drive, or you went to driving school, or something like that. But most people, the computer landed up in their lap at work or at home, and they really just know how to do very specific things with them. So when it goes wrong, they really freak out. And especially people of an older generation, too, because for someone like me, I was kind of almost brought up on it. But people who are older, they kind of had that technology exactly, as you said, dumped in their laps. Absolutely. That's true. So you have some mottos, which I love about your place. It's let Go Geeks rescue you because you do so much, you can help really rescue people. Well, we're superheroes, yes, essentially. Exactly. We don't. We you don't. See it right I, there. That's that's me as a child. Um, <laughs> I uh, I don't uh, I don't actually wear the cape when I go on calls. That's probably for the best. I think it, you get more business. It that could way. get tangled in. The, <laughs> but uh, in any event, yes. And uh, and our other motto is uh, quality Islam at not East Asia. And that's because so many people have been stuck on the phone for hours and hours trying to, you know, with an impenetrable accent, trying to get to the root of the problem. But often what you really need is somebody to look at your machine and mm -hmm. find out what's wrong. Yeah, because you can't describe a problem over the phone and have it work. You really need someone who's local, and you're right in East Long Meadow. That's correct. That's right, right near the rotary. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of people operate their computers based on anecdotal beliefs and what's wrong with it and how to fix it. And really, it's like a car or a lawnmower or a washing machine. You need a professional look at it. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of people that come into the store, bring you their computers so that you can look at them. What's the number one problem that you oftentimes see? Well, we offer a free diagnostic, which most people don't. So a lot of people do bring their computer in. A lot of um, those big box stores, they charge you for a diagnostic yes, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, we don't charge. If you don't fix it, you don't have to pay. But, uh, you, but I would say 85% of the computers that come into our shop or that I find on site at people's homes are infected. Um, most people have an infected computer and are not aware they're infected. Uh, sometimes it's very clear. It's, you know, there's evidence on the screen that something's wrong, but often people are not aware they're infected. Um, their computer's running slow. They think they have too many things running on it or whatever reason. But, that, you know, if your computer's running slow, there's something wrong. Yeah. And you need to have it looked at. Um, viruses used to be the big deal back in the 90s. Uh, you know, a virus would come in as an attachment to an email, oh, and yeah. uh, people would click on it. A lot of traditional products like Norton and McAfee, that's what they're geared towards. But a lot of those products also don't have a good anti-spyware element in them. And spyware is what most people get infected by today. Really? Spyware is when you go to a website, all kinds of websites, um, you can get an infection on your computer. It basically hijacks your system. Um, there's all different elements of uh, spyware infestations. We call it malware. It's kind of an umbrella term for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's Trojan horses. There's worms. There's um, uh, you know, various different types of things. But um, the most prevalent is a, a system where it, it gets into your system and hijacks your computer and uploads your personal information. Um, so you could lose, uh, like with a keylogger, for instance, mm -hmm. that's a particular kind of malware. You could be typing information in a field. It could send like your bank of, like your Bank of America password or yeah. your credit card information, and that could get uploaded to someone which they can use for identity theft. So someone can actually watch the keys that you're typing. They're actually capturing the keys that you're typing. They're not watching them, but they're capturing it in the system. It's like recording it more or less. Um, so there's all kinds of threats out there, and uh, a lot of people who are relying on traditional antivirus products like a McAfee or a Norton or what have you, because these don't have strong antivirus elements, they kind of have a, uh, a false sense of security, mm -hmm. and it can be very bad for them. Now today, there's something that's particularly malevolent that's out there, uh, which I wanted to talk to you about, uh, mm -hmm. which is called the FBI virus. And you were saying it's infecting so many computers that are coming to you just in the couple, last couple days. Yes, but we've, we've got 12 in the last three days have come in, but uh, there's really, there, there's probably hundreds out there. Um, uh, these types of programs, uh, uh, which I'm going to talk about now, um, mm -hmm. are called rogue security programs. A rogue security program is a program that purports to be uh, a security program, but it really wants money from you. And we're looking at that right now. This is the specific FBI one. Yes. Yeah, so we call it the FBI virus, um, but uh, uh, there's, there's actually a lot of different variants on it. This one doesn't say FBI on it. This one says United States Cybersecurity, but it's basically the same deal. I took this screenshot off a client's computer yesterday using my iPhone, and uh, you notice we've blacked out the IP address and other personal information, but it actually would tell you the town that you're in, your IP address would be listed on there, and it says that your computer has been involved in illegal activity, and, uh, you know, uh, some type of porn or downloading uh, music or what have you, and, uh, and basically wants you to pay $200. 
Um, huh. Uh, you, you'll so notice someone's posing as the government and saying, it, "Give us 200 bucks." Exactly, and there's even, it looks very clever. It looks very authentic. There's a uh, a picture. It looks like there's a camera rolling on the right hand side, so it looks like you're on a webcam. And then they instruct you to go to a convenience store, like a you know a drugstore, whatever, and buy a money pack card, which is just a prepaid cash card, so you can anonymously pay them. They tell you that if you don't do this. First of all, your computer will remain locked, and second of all, um, you know you will, you could go to prison. Oh, there could be additional fines. Um, people are terrified of this; they 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 fall for it. Some people actually pay the money. Wow! Um, it's, good, it, it's like those old scams, and it was like a relative in Ethiopia or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Those still happen, by the way. Those really? are not. Yes, I got one the other day, but it wasn't. It wasn't Ethiopia. You know, I thought about it, but it, no. <laughs> good, I'm um, glad. The, the funny thing about this, though, Seth, is that um, if the FBI was really looking for you. They'd be kicking your door down. They wouldn't, That's a, they wouldn't be sending you something and asking for $200. That's exactly. not a lot of money. Exactly. But people do fall for these. And uh, what I tell people is um, do not fall for this. You know, don't be scammed. It might be scary, but press the power button on your computer. Mm -hmm. Bring it to us. It can be fixed. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to cost you a fortune. You're not going to lose your stuff. But don't try to fix it on your own. Don't ask your neighbor or your uncle because often what they can do is somebody comes in there and runs some kind of rudimentary scan, removes that screen so it's no longer locked up for you, but it's still in your system. And it could just come back again or it could be hijacking your personal information. And these problems, oftentimes, you know, they can't be solved on the phone. So you have to go somewhere like Go Geeks where people can actually sit down and watch your computer and, and really do it how it's supposed to be fixed. Exactly. Like we go to people's homes. We offer house call service within our local area, and uh, which is Greater Springfield. Um, or people can bring it in for a free diagnostic, and you know, we take a look at it. And with something like this FBI virus per se, yeah. basically, you know, we we take a look at it. We determine whether the system can be cleaned, or often it needs a system reload, which mm -hmm. is not a terrible thing. You know, we back up your documents, pictures, your iTunes, all that. We erase the system. We reload Windows. Not a bad idea. And then, you know, we talked to you about putting you into a better kind of uh, security program so that this perhaps won't happen to you again. Well, hey, thank you so much for stopping by today. It's Go Geeks, GoGeeks.com, Go Geeks East Computer Longmeadow. Rescue. Yep. Thank Thanks you. again. Thanks and for having me. If you're me. having computer troubles, let Go Geeks Rescue you. Check them out at 4 Crane Ave in East Longmeadow or go online, GoGeeks.com. Thanks. Mm -hmm.